So we're in Capasquin, outside of Edmonton, Alberta, and today we're going to meet the wonderful actress Edna Rain. Hello. Oh, hi. I'm Martin. I'm Edna. Nice to meet you. Mm-hmm. So. Got some dry meat, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, it's starting to, like, we just put it out this morning. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. When's it going to be ready? A uh, couple of days, about three days, if it's warm and the sun is hot. But on a day like this, you have to cover up the whole thing and make a top. Not too much smoking, but a lot, a little bit more heat. So a certain kind of wood we use to smoke meat. What kind of wood is that? That's uh, willow wood and white poplar. We're supposed to use black poplar, but we couldn't get the saw going. So you know that when you get an animal, you don't waste nothing. You know that, eh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember my aunties used to even cook the hoofs. They used to clean it, burn it, and take the nail off, mm -hmm. and they looked like chick feet. Hmm. They used to cook it first, really soft, and that was delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you like moose heart? That's moose my heart. Ooh, that's moose heart. Do you eat the nose too? Pardon? The moose nose? Moose nose too? I, fi <laughs> I fixed that. <laughs> I fixed that uh, uh, about a week ago. And I put it in my deep freeze. It's all done, burned, and ready to go. Ooh. I love moose nose. They, we always call it the delicacy of the moose. Mm -hmm. you know. Moose heart or moose nose is my favorite, I think. Do you eat the brains too? The brains, no. no? We use the brains for that. For the skin? Yeah, oh, after okay, I, okay. that's dry and done, you have to put the moose brain on there. And I got it my, in my deep freeze at home. You put it on there. Nowadays, a lot of people use chemicals, but that's the old school way, huh? Yeah. Traditional way. But you have to cook the brain, though, before you put it on there, mm. because the blood veins break your hide. If you s clean it really white, you'll bloody it up again. So mm. it's better to cook it. Mm. And that's supposed to moisten the hide, actually. Yeah. Yeah. After we finish the whole mousse, like the, the meat, like this, then we go after all the little muscles. Mm -hmm. We cut them up, slice them up, and hang them. And um, just the bones. I know they used to eat the marrow many years ago, but we I don't eat the marrow anymore. Mm. I used to love it, actually. I used to crack it, put it, cook it a little bit, and crack it in half, run and get a willow stick and clean it, and I'd poke that little hole in there, and I'd be eating it with bannock. <laughs> that I was saw, really I like good. Saw, I like sawing those bones and then cooking that marrow out in the crock pot. Yeah. With the meat. Looks real oily. Oh, caribou. Yeah. Caribou. I eat the marrow out of caribou. <laughs> I you have never rock. ate a caribou, I don't think. Really? No. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. You eat the brains out of those ones. Oh. Yeah, it's good. Mm. I know. We used to eat brains out of rabbit. That was really good. Mm -hmm. We used to fight over the head when we were kids. We wanted to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Where you catch your fish at? Uh, not around here anyway. Buck Lake, I think. Mm. Where there's a lake that's clean because you can't fish around here. You know all the lakes are polluted now. So they have to go further up. I don't know what we're headed for, but while I have a chance, I'm still doing these things anyway. <laughs> 